Today we have Tom Löffler with us. He's uh, the Klitschko promoter and managing director of K2 Promotions. Hi Tom, good to have you here. Good to be here. So you're back from Poland. Um, what were your uh, impressions from the Adamek fight in Wroclaw? Well, it was a great fight. It was a great victory for Vitaly. It was a terrific atmosphere there in Poland in this brand new stadium, 43,000 people. Um, really uh, enthusiastic boxing fans and a lot of uh, emotion in this stadium. It was the biggest, one of the biggest sporting events in the history of Poland to take place there and we were happy to put the show there in the stadium. The city of Warsaw was great, Warsaw, um, and uh, it was a tremendous victory for Vitaly. And um, how would you compare this promotion in Poland to some of the other shows you have been involved in? Well, being in the new stadium, there was a lot of things that were kind of last minute to be completed, but the end result, as far as the, the emotion and the enthusiasm of the fans in the arena, was spectacular. And the only thing that really compared to this promotion was the first time we did the show in uh, Schalke was also um, very high emotion and a lot of enthusiasm with the crowd, but the Polish uh, fans were never really exposed to this type of show before as far as the heavyweight championship and the production that RTL did, the live production with the fireworks and all the special effects with the walk-ins is something that the fans have never seen in Poland before on a live show, especially of that magnitude and that's really what made the, the show uh, a great success. Vladimir last fought uh, David Hay, now Vitaly against Adamek. Yeah. How would you compare the two Klitschko opponents to each other? Well, Hay definitely is the winner outside the ring in terms of uh, trash talking and that's the way he really got the fight with Vladimir and that's how he got under, you know, really got the attention of both the brothers. Adamek is a little bit more soft-spoken, kind of goes in the ring, does, does what he needs to do to try to win. He tried everything against Vitaly, but nothing worked. Vitaly was just so dominant against Adamek with his speed and his power and his size that Adamek couldn't do anything even though he really tried. With Hay, a lot of people thought that he was very defensive and didn't really, wasn't really as aggressive or as offensive as he should have been. I mean, he had the broken toe, which he you know, kind of brought to everyone's attention at the press conference afterwards. And I just think Adamek overall really tried a lot harder um, to, to win the fight than he did. Let's have a look into the future. What do you see next for both brothers? Well, there's a lot of interesting opponents that are that are coming up. Um, you know, Hayes talking about maybe trying to do something with Vitaly, you know, with a, with a toe that's not injured. You know, maybe he'll move around the ring a lot better. He's still very fast. He still can punch. Um, he's still a former world champion, so there's no disrespect to Hay. And I think a fight, style-wise, a matchup with Hay, with Vitaly could be interesting. From Vitaly's side, I know he said publicly that he wants to finish the job that his brother started, um, where he wants to really knock out Hay, whereas Vladimir won a clear-cut decision against Hay. And Vladimir, it looks like he's going to fight again before the end of the year, probably December. Opponent hasn't really been finalized yet in the location, but it looks like it'll be in Germany, and it'll be a defense of all of his world titles, the IBF title, the WBO title, the WBA title, he's got the ring championship, so that would be a defense of all those titles for Vladimir. Tom Loeffler, thank you very much for being on the Facebook fan side of the Klitschko brothers today. Thank you. Goodbye.